Yeah, well, hi, everyone. Uh, I'm really glad to be here. Thanks for having me. Um, so as we've seen uh, this morning, we would have an introduction, or morning for me at least. Uh, we would have an introduction to Houdini, I think, with the perspective of touch designer users. Um, there's a lot of similar things between touch designer and Houdini. So I think that's a great starting point. If you've not used Houdini before, or you've not got that much experience, uh, it's going to be a good way of getting into it. Uh, so I guess like, first of all, for those that don't know, like what is Houdini? Uh, it's basically like a 3D software that's a bit different than the traditional C4D, Blender, Maya, uh, it's an node based software uh, and it has a lot of stuff in it. You can you know, build simulations with fluids, pyro, uh, smokes, volume simulations, uh, a lot of visual effects with particles, um, as well as 3D modeling. <clears throat> so it really has a lot of things in there and a lot of different layers to it. Uh, and it can be quite daunting because there's so much in there to learn. Um, but it also really gives you the possibility to, to make complex stuff in a pretty easy way if you go about it the right way. Um, so I guess to start, if we try comparing a bit to Touch Designer to see if there's some similarities here or some differences. Um, so like the first thing is like a lot of people know this, but they come from the same software initially. They were the same company, I think, and very much the same code base. And they split. And on one ha one hand, we had the set effects Houdini, and the other hand, uh, Touch Designer. So they're both node based. They both work with geometry streams or data streams. You know, you get a stream of information from one node, plug it into another one, get the result, and so on and so forth. And you build your networks, and you get your results at the end. Um, they both have the same sort of underlying concept of having uh, the sub context for all your geometry, the top context for your textures, um, chop networks also exist in both of them. Um, <clears throat> so they, they're pretty much built the same way. They have they offer the same stuff. Uh, the big difference is that Houdini is not real time or is not aimed to be real time. It's a lot of pre render stuff, even though depending on your machine and the simulations you're running, they can run pretty close to, to real time in your viewport. Uh, on the other hand, Touch Designer is like purely real time. It's meant for real time installations, real time visualizations, I love that. So that's one of the big differences to keep in mind as we're building stuff is that it's really hard to build stuff in Houdini, which is aimed to be real time. It's a lot of, it's very often, you end up having either sending the geometry to another package to render it or exporting the geometry to use it in another project or rendering straight from Houdini. <clears throat> so these are like, that's a big difference. It's one of them is real time, the other isn't. Um, yeah, so as I said, like typically like in Houdini, you're building a lot of simulations with fluids, with particles, with smoke. Um, mostly like visual effects. That's like the big thing that Houdini offers is it's pretty easy to get started with building, for example, soft body simulations, rigid body simulations, particle systems are super simple. Um, it really offers a lot of stuff that you can get up and running pretty quick. Uh, the learning curve is a bit steep because as soon as you leave the simple stuff, it becomes pretty complex. Um, but with, with the examples we're going to look at here today, you'll see it's like fairly simple to get started if you have that node-based background uh, to get started and get some pretty interesting results pretty quickly, actually. Um, just one quick disclaimer that we're not going to be covering the topic of rendering uh, because that's a bit of a different topic. It's a uh, different set of nodes uh, and mostly it's, the reason is that there are lots of different renderers. You have the built-in renderers from Houdini, which are Mantra and Karma, which is a newer one. And then you have Arnold, Redshift, Octane, some others, which I can't remember. So there's a lot of different rendering packages and everyone works a bit, has a bit of their own set of nodes, even though they're quite similar, but it's, and it's a bit off topic at this point. Um, yeah. <clears throat> 
So, um, to get started, if you have Houdini installed, that's great. I'm using the last version, which is Houdini 19. Um, and yeah, you should get it up and running. So, when you open Houdini, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot more than there is in Touch Designer. Um, <clears throat> that's because there's a lot more stuff that can be done with Houdini than Touch Designer. But we're going to focus on things that are similar and the sort of basics we need there again to get things up and running. So uh, if you check up at the top uh, in the menu bar here, or whatever you call it, there's a drop down here, uh, which lets you select different workspaces, which are all focusing on different layers of Houdini, depending on what you're focusing on. There's a lot of different ones. Uh, today, we're going to use the build one because it's the most basic one. It has everything that we need to get started. Uh, it's not so cluttered. So here on the left, you have your viewport where we would see the geometry that we're building. Uh, <clears throat> you can, you know, uh, for example, if you hit the D key, you have this, it opens up. And if you go to background, you can select like a different color. I just use dark as a default. I think it's, this is the color when you open Houdini, but if you want to change it, that's how you change it. Uh, then what's important we have down here, we have this part here, which is called the network editor. And when we drop their nodes here on the panel just above, we're going to get um, parameters. That's like the most basic we need to get started. Having our, node work, our network here and the parameters up here. Um, then there's this menu here, which shows you all the different types of networks. And they're fairly similar to Touch Designer. We have the CH, with, which is CHOPS, uh, IMG, which is the equivalent of TOPS. Uh, one thing to note is that I am, like the top network or comp network in Houdini is much slower than the top network, uh, the top context in Touch Designer. Um, then we have MAT for materials, which is pretty much the same as Touch Designer. Uh, object, which is where we're going to be building our geometry, and then out for the rendering and some other things. Shop for building materials as well. So if we stay in the object context, this is where we start to build the scene to place. So this is where you would add your geometry, you would add um, cameras, lighting, you can also add networks to get materials in this part as well. So this is really where you build the bulk of your scene in terms of like the geometry itself and a bit of the way you're going to render it. So just the same as when you're using touch designer, if you hit the tab menu or like the tab key, sorry, then you get this menu with everything that, you know, you can add to this point. The most basic one is if you just type geo for geometry and drop a geo node, this is where the geometry is going to live. So you had your network, uh, and you need to add a geo node, and inside of that geo node is where we would start building geometry and you know seeing what happens. Uh, here is also where the at the same level as where you put geometry is where you would also you know add a camera, for example, um, and then you see the new viewport. And then if you were to select up here uh, in this menu here, you can select your camera, and you're seeing through the through the camera. Uh, we don't need that at this point. Um, so yeah, I think we can get, you know, get started and dive in and start building some geometry. Uh, so if you dive into your geometry node, this is where you get again, a clean slate and you have to build the network here again for you know, any geometry that you want to build. If we hit tab again, we have another tab menu with all the different nodes that are, you know, geometry context. Uh, there's a lot of them. As you can see, uh, so the, there again, like you realize that Houdini has a lot of stuff that can be done and there's a lot of stuff to learn, but uh, yeah, we're just going to go over the basic ones and get something up and running pretty quick. So, I mean, I guess the very first thing is if you, you know, hit S sphere, SPH type sphere, um, you get this sphere in your viewport. Server basic, uh, very first example. If you hover over the viewport where your geometry is and you type the W key on your keyboard, you can toggle between wireframes.